Hello friends, welcome back to Crafting It with Nicole and if you're new here, hi, welcome. For today's video friends, I'm going to be sharing with you some amazing Christmas DIYs that you could do with Dollar Tree's wood blocks. Let's get started. To make these projects, you're going to need Dollar Tree's tumbling towers blocks or wood blocks. So for the first DIY, you're going to need Dollar Tree's wood planks. They come in a pack, I believe, of five. You're going to need one of those as well as seven blocks. And we're going to be gluing them to the wood piece. After that's complete, we're going to be moving to the next step. We are going to be gluing six wood blocks together. And then we're going to repeat the same step eight more times. And after that's complete, we're going to start assembling the Christmas tree. Now we're ready to start assembling the Christmas tree and we're going to be gluing two of the wood blocks pieces on the bottom. We're going to be putting them a little bit slanted to the side and we're going to be gluing them upward in like a pyramid shape. Okay friends, so moving on to the next step in this project, I'm going to begin staining the wood so everything matches and it looks like it's one piece. Now of course you can paint this tree whichever color you like, you can go with green, with white, whichever matches your home decor style. I really love the stained look and I just love how the wood peeks through that brown, gives it more of a natural look. But of course you can take whichever route you desire. The color that I'm using is the melted chocolate from Apple Barrel and I did add some water so I can give it that stained look. Next we're going to be adding some decorations to this tree. I wanted to add a little Christmas touch because Christmas without red is just not the same. Got this pre-made wreath from Dollar General for $1 and it was a little too thin so I added a garland tie from Dollar tree and just attached it to that wreath and this is how it turned out. Okay friends, so moving on to the next DIY, you're going to need more of those wood blocks. I'm using the brown ones the Dollar Tree carries, but if you don't have these, you can always go with the natural wood ones and just color them in the color brown. For this project, friends, you're going to need 15 wood blocks and glue them all together, making a rectangular shape. Okay, friends, so I did notice that some of the wood blocks had some scratches on them and I didn't really like that. It wasn't really going with the DIY that I had in mind. So I did decide to go over them with a brown paint from apple barrel giving them a good coat of that paint all around once that's completed and dry i have the stickers that i got from oriental trading that i found in my stash and i decided to use them on this diy of course if you do not have these stickers you can always get dollar tree stickers or if you're feeling really crafty you can always paint it and have fun creating it if that's the route you want to take Next, you're going to need something round and red for Rudolph's nose. Now, I got one of the berries from those pre-made wreaths and I just took one out and made it as Rudolph's red nose, adding some eyes. And then I'm using a piece of napkin that I got from Dollar General, removing that back piece and I will be making like a scarf for Rudolph. Measuring and then cutting it to size and then gluing it in place. Next, I'm going to be adding some dots on Rudolph's eyes. I will be using this tool to make those circles. I got it from Amazon and I can have this tool linked in the description box below. Next, you're going to need some jute twine and I'll be making a small bow to add 
to the little corner of Rudolph's scarf. Small details like this in your crafts makes all the difference. Next, you're going to need some wood slices that Dollar Tree carries, and I'm going to be gluing Rudolph right in the center. Then adding a small piece of Gartland ties right to the bottom, and then just brushing a little bit of white paint to look like snow, and that will complete this project. Now we're going to be moving on to the next one, and it's going to be very similar to Rudolph, but instead of Rudolph, we're going to be making Santa. So the steps will be similar but we'll be adding some different decorations to this one. So stay tuned until the end so you can see the final result on both. Now, I got this tree skirt from Dollar Tree from those miniature Christmas trees and I'll be using a little piece of this skirt to make it like Santa's hat. So after placing it where I am happy with it, I'll be gluing it in place and then tying the top with a white ribbon from Dollar Tree. Next, I'll be using more of those stickers from Oriental Trading to add the eyes, as well as the red berry for the nose. Also, friends, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to stick around. I love to share my ideas and tips on budget-friendly home decor and DIY inspiration. And if you already do, welcome back, friend. And I'll be doing the same thing on Santa's eyes with the dotting tool. Next, we're gonna be working on Santa's beard. And we're gonna be using another piece of that tree skirt, but only using a small piece of the white fluffy part. After we cut the piece that we need, we're going to take out the seam where they sew it to the hat and then open it up and it'll be a bigger piece. Then you're gonna grab that fluffy part and just cut like a curvy line on the top so it can look more like Santa's beard. After that's complete, you're gonna glue it on top of a wood slice, adding a garland tie, and that will be it for this project. This is how these two beautiful projects turned out. Now moving on to the following project. We are gonna need more of those wood blocks as well as two wood pieces that Dollar Tree also carries. I believe they call them wood slices. And we're gonna be making a nutcracker. And I am so excited to share this project because it was so, so much fun to create. And I really do hope that you give this project a try because it turned out so cute. So wait until the end so you can see the big reveal on how this nutcracker turned out. And I hope you will be amazed on what you could do with wood blocks. So here after creating and forming the nutcracker, we're gonna be gluing all the pieces together. Okay friends, so now that the nutcracker is ready to go, we're gonna start working on the fun part, which is the painting and decorating part. And for the paints, I'll be using the red apple, black, and light mocha paint from Apple Barrel. So sit back, relax, grab your coffee or your tea. I'm just gonna let you enjoy the painting section.
Okay, so now that the Nutcracker is all painted and ready, we're going to be adding the smaller details. I really enjoyed making this project. It allows you to get really creative and going all out if you wanted to. Every little detail in this project just scales it up to the next level. need some gold paper I had this one in my stash it's like a glittery paper and I'll be using it to add the details on the hat as well as the shoulders Now we're going to be working on the Nutcracker's face and I'm just putting some stickers as his eyes. Next I'm going to be adding some white dots in his eyes using the dotting tool. And now we're going to begin working on his mustache. And I decided to use the dotting tool for this as well. Next, I'll be adding the nose, drawing his eyebrows and his belt. Then we're going to begin working on his beard and his hair. Cutting a little piece of that tree skirt and then gluing it in place. Next, I'll be adding some round stickers to his boots and he will be all done. And this is how the Nutcracker turned out. Okay, friends, so moving on to the next DIY, you're going to need six wood blocks. Glue them together and then creating a rectangular shape. It should look like a frame. Then you're going to need a paper of your choice for the backing of this tiny frame. I chose to go with this one that is a wood pattern paper. So after you measure it and cut it to size, you're going to glue it in place. Then just add some Christmas stickers on the frame and decorate it as you please. I added this gold Christmas tree and then I'm just making a tiny bow with some jute twine and add it to the top. Then I just added a ribbon to the back of the frame to hang it and that is it for this project. And here I made some different ones that you can see that the possibilities are endless and these are great for tear trays or for your Christmas tree ornaments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video gave you some ideas and inspiration. I'll see you back here real soon. Bye guys.